Hey, big boy, you want apples? Come on. Oh, he's running. He's running. You running for dinner? Come on. Hey, Buck. Hey, my big boy. You ready for dinner? Baby, you must have been itchy. Come on. Come on, I got dinner for you. Come on, my boy. You. Come here. Come here, my beautiful boy. This is my big boy. Come here. Come here. You put them all in your mouth. Good boy. You know how to bite it. Good boy. He bites it with his side teeth. Good boy, my big boy. Oh, I think he got the tick out. Did you get the tick out? I think you did. I don't see it. Oh, yeah, I do. Never mind. I see it. You want more? You want more? Hey, yeah, you want more? I got more. Yeah. Yeah. Buck. Yeah, baby. Buck. Okay. Let me give you the rest of the grapes. You eat the grapes while I cut up your apples, okay? How about that? We do that. Hold on. Let me give you the rest over here. I'd rather throw them on the floor, baby. You eat them from the floor, the ground, while I cut up your apples, okay? Here, eat those while I cut up your apples. We'll do that. I still need to chop up about two more apples. So I got one apple all chopped up and ready to go. So while he eats his grapes, I'll chop up his apples. Okay. Yep, now we got two apples chopped up. Okay. My big boy. Are you ready for dinner? You came. You walked so fast. You excited for dinner? It was raining earlier. So right now it's 5 o'clock. It was raining around like 4.30. 4 o'clock. It was raining. And it was funny because I was about to go outside to give him like a little bit of an early dinner. But I was like, oh, it's raining. So I was like, let's see if it stops. Well, it was drizzling. It wasn't raining hard. So... I said, let me wait a while, which is good that I waited because now it's five o'clock and it stopped raining. Right? It stopped raining. It's okay. It's okay, big boy. Are you eating your dinner? Oh, my beautiful boy. You're eating your dinner. I want to pay you. You didn't make me pay you, but you give me kisses. Right? You give me kisses. I'll take the kisses. It's okay. All right, if you don't want me to pet him, that's fine. Yeah, today he didn't make me pet him too much, but I don't blame him. I'm sure he gets annoyed with me constantly trying to pet him all the time. He's probably like, Give me my apples, right? You're probably like, Give me my apples. And the squirrels are coming too, yeah. And now he's eating some of the grapes, he's too funny. Now he's eating the grapes. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I wonder this year, like when he goes into rut, how he's going to act. Because, well, this year that just passed, 2023. Like the, what was it? No, 2020, I'm sorry. 2022, the fall of 2022. When he went into rut, like he was pretty, he behaved pretty well, I have to say. Like he showed me there was moments that he would grunt at me and stuff like that, but he was a well-behaved boy, I have to say. I can't complain, right? Yeah, I can't complain, yeah. So I wanna see this year, cause two years ago, three years ago, oh my God, when he used to get mad, like around the time that he was like in rut, he used to stomp his feet and huff and puff. But now he's like so well behaved. I can't complain, right? He's such a good boy. You're a good boy, Buck. You really are. Nobody would believe me. He's such a good boy. Yeah. 
Like for him being a male deer, he's such a good boy. He really is. He's a sweetheart. Right? It's in the beginning when we first met. I, I just think you were probably scared and you were like, that's why you, he was probably acting the way he was acting. Now he's probably like, all right, she's not going to hurt me. She feeds me all the goodies and gives me water and corn and food. Right, Buck? I wish I could take care of even the ticks on his ear, but there's only so much I could do, you know? And I don't want to keep throwing that spray on him because I don't know if it's going to overdry his skin or anything. So that's why I want to like leave him alone. With the ticks, we have to let nature take its course. Sucks how bad I want to help him with the ticks, but I can't. If he really let me pet him, pet him, oh, forget it. I would have took those out by now with, with a tweezer. What happened? What do you see? What happened, Buck? I don't know what he's looking at. Oh, I think he's looking at people that are walking down the block. Look, that's people. I'm walking. Oh, he's too funny. He's staring at the people that are walking down my driveway right now. They're not on my driveway, but they're walking like on the block. Oh, it's kids that I got out of school, Buck. It's okay. See, it's okay. He pays attention to anybody that walks close to like the woods. Dude, this is my home. I don't want nobody next to it. You are so overprotected, Buck. We're not gonna bother you. Oh, he's so funny. I know he's paying attention to all the people that are walking like down the road. Because from where I'm standing, I can actually see that there's kids walking with their parents that they probably got out of school. And he's looking. You be nosy. You be nosy, Buck. Okay, let's cut up this other apple. Okay. He's still looking. I put my head down for like two minutes cutting these apples. And I'm like, you're still looking. Because yeah, when I cut the apples, I don't know like what he's doing. I always put my head down and literally look directly at the apples. So I don't even know what he's doing. And I, you know, it's funny because when he had his antlers and I used to do that, my husband used to yell at me. He was like, don't ever take your eyes off of him. You know, he could, he could hurt you any second. He's a wild animal. I'm like, babe, he's not going to hurt me. And sometimes I purposely like don't look. And then when I go home, I look back at the video to see like, you know, oh, I wonder what he was doing when I was cutting the apples or whatever. But he just hangs out. He doesn't do nothing. Hey, right, Buck, you're a good boy, baby. You don't do nothing. You good boy. It's good that I'm kind of happy that it rained because at least it watered everything so I don't have to water it today. So that's like one less thing for me to do today. And I love it because it's getting all green down there. All the grass is growing. I'm telling you, in this spot over here, I think it's taking longer to grow because there's mostly shade. Right, Buck? But I think we'll be good. It's growing. And I'm so excited because all the four leaf clovers that I planted last year, two years ago, were me and my husband. Well, mostly my husband. He was the one that threw the seeds. Right? Daddy threw the seeds. And they're all coming back, which I'm so happy. You see? He patiently waits. Like before I was trying to pat him, but he was like, no. I could tell just by looking at his face, like what he, like how his personality, like, you know, like if I go out and pet him and he doesn't want to be pet, just by looking at his face, I could tell like if he's bothered or annoyed with me. Yeah, Buck. Right now he's being nosy. He's trying to pay attention to everything. Everything that's going on, like down the driveway, down the road. Me and him, no, he got me looking too. Buck now we're both looking. I don't see nothing going on. I don't know what's going on, Buck, but I don't see nothing. Yeah. Oh, it's drizzling again. It's all right. We're on the tree, Buck. If you get closer, baby, you won't get wet. Why don't you get closer? Get closer to the fence, baby. You won't get wet. Because I'm telling you, this tree right here, believe it or not, it actually protects us. Well, it protects me from getting wet. Like, I'm not really getting that much wet from standing under here. I'm 
I'm sorry, Buck. I let that go. I was staring at a squirrel and I wasn't even looking at him, honestly, when I gave him that apple. I was like staring at it. I put my hand out like this and I just get, I was staring at a squirrel that was running around. It's okay. It's okay. Those are squirrels. Oh my God. One squirrel grabbed a piece of bread or something. And the other squirrel was trying to chase him. Oh, he's up in that tree. He found a piece of bread that I probably threw earlier. Because two hours ago, I came out to throw bread for the squirrels. Oh, he went right there to eat it. Oh, he's so funny. Yeah, all that bread, I threw it out like about like an hour, almost two hours ago, I came out here to throw the bread. So I figure all the birds and squirrels, they could all have something, right? Yeah. Only like, you don't want me to pay you today. Here. No, you got more apples, Buck. You got more. Here. You got more. And look, you got three more pieces. And then you're done, okay? Three more pieces, and then you ate three apples. Which the apples this time that I brought out. Oh, there's another squirrel going to grab a piece of bread. That's why I like throwing the bread out a little bit before I feed him. So at least the other little ones, they have something to eat while he's over here enjoying the goodies. Because the squirrels, they're not picky. They'll eat whatever I throw. You buck picky, right? Yeah. Oh, my baby. Mm. Yeah. I could pay you. What happened? Yeah. I love you. I love you, big boy. Oh, Buck, I love you so much. I love you the way I love my dog. You're part of the family, boy. Right? You're part of the family. All right, he made me pet him. I gotta be happy. At least I got that. Like, I got to pet him like that. I was lucky. I can't be, like, selfish, you know? If he lets me pet him a little bit, I should be more than happy. Right, Buck? You gotta be happy, even with just a little pet. Uh, he gave me a few kisses, and he made me pet him. I'm happy. Right, Buck? You made my day, big, big boy. You want corn? You have corn. You have water. You have it all. You have it all, big boy. You have bread on the floor with the seeds that you like. You want to eat that? You can eat that, too. I'm sure he ate a couple of the slices, because I see a lot of pieces missing, but it could be the squirrels and the birds, so. Oh, my God, there's more squirrels coming up now to get the bread. See, they're all excited. They're all grabbing the bread and running. Now there's another one coming <laughs> up the hill. He's like, wait, oh, dinner's ready. It's so funny, I'm telling you, when me and Buck are standing here, it's like all the animals in the forest, like they're so smart. It's like they know that there's food. Like, oh, wow, he's there. Okay, let's go get the food. They must know, like when they see Buck, they're like, okay, if Buck is there and she's there, that's a good thing. There's food. Right, Buck? Oh, that squirrel's so cute. I'm trying to make friends with the squirrels, too, but they'll come close, but they won't come close enough. But with squirrels, they make me iffy because I know, like, they could, like, snap, like, to bite. <laughs> I know they could be biters, I'm sure. So I don't want to get bitten by a squirrel. If they ever want to become my friends, decide to become my friends one day. Ooh, I'll be blessed to have them be my friends, too. Right, Buck? Mommy would be really blessed then if these little guys become my friends and come close. But I doubt it. The only, the only, the closest a squirrel will come to me is if I'm standing right here in his spot. They'll actually climb this tree and like hang out on the tree close by. And that's it. Hi, right, Buck. You know, he's eating. He's going to eat his corn. Probably drink some water, hang out for a little bit. It's actually not that cold out. It feels like muggy out. And it's foggy. It's really foggy. Not really, really foggy, but it's kind of foggy out. Right, Buck? It was good, too, because I filled up his water bucket. He must have drank a lot of water this morning because the water bucket was on half. So I cleaned it out, so he has fresh water, and he has corn, so he's good. You're good, Buck. You have the food that will last you all the way to tonight, till tomorrow. It's okay, Buck. Those are squirrels, baby. They're just getting all the bread that they're finding. But of course, you're going to probably go grab the bread. 
You see? I bet he's going to go grab the piece of bread that I'm looking at right now. There's a piece of bread right there. Watch him go grab that piece. You don't want them eating the bread? Because he did that the other day. He was seeing, he was looking at, I don't know if he was really paying attention, but he was paying attention to all the squirrels that were grabbing the bread. And then he started walking in that spot and literally eating all the pieces of bread that were there. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> it's like if he was thinking in, my, in his head, all this food is mine. I'm going to have it all. <laughs> right, Buck? That's what you do? <laughs> you want all the food to yourself. There's a little squirrel right there trying to get a piece of bread. Well, he'll grab a piece. They're getting the courage to get closer to Buck because they realize that Buck doesn't do nothing to them. So one of them, I don't know if it's the same squirrel. I don't know because they all look alike. I can't tell squirrels apart for some reason. I know with deers, you can't really tell them apart either. But I don't know. I feel like kind of you could. I guess if you look at their face, it's really, really good. Or maybe with their personalities. I'm sure that's how you could tell them apart. Like this little squirrel, I'm sure this is the squirrel that comes here every day. When I scream Buck's name, and then he pops up. And then he's going to go get corn. And then he's going to grab bread. Let's see, yep, he's going to grab that bread. He's so cute, I'm surprised he's even eating it there. I love the way they hold the food with their little fingers. And they hold on to it, that's the cutest thing. And this one is over here by the hay spot. Right, he's probably gonna go use the bathroom on it now, I'm sure. Because that's what he likes to do. Right, Buck? My father-in-law asked me the other day. He was like, does he eat it? Because he usually animals like that like to eat it. I'm like, no, he doesn't eat it. I'm like, he's picky. And then my sister was telling me the deers by her house, they eat everything. Like anything, like any type of food you throw out, like they'll eat it. I'm like, no, this one's spoiled. He prefers like his main selection of things that I give him. I tried changing it up once and trying to give him carrots. He don't like it. He smelled it and walked away. I never tried the big carrots, but like the big, big, long carrots. Like I always have gotten him the organic small carrots, mini carrots, and he didn't like them. He smelled them and walked away. So I was like, all right. I was hoping he would have. Because carrots are supposed to be really good for you. I try to give him like really healthy stuff. Like the bread is mostly for the birds and if he eats some, it's like, okay, that's fine. You could put some carbs into you. Some carbs won't hurt. Poor baby. I know, Buck, that ear. Hopefully they fall out soon. He's being nosy, not checking what's over there. All right, guys. I'm gonna get ready now. I'm gonna start cleaning up on my side of the spot with the mess that I made over here with the buckets and stuff. And I will be back tomorrow morning with another video. Me and Buck will be back. I didn't think he was gonna let me pet him today, and he did. He actually let me pet him, which I was happy. So I'm excited. Right, Buck? Yeah, I don't know what he's doing now. He's just smelling. He's just smelling everything. He's probably going to definitely use the potty soon. Because usually when he hangs out on the hay, he eventually, like, does his pee-pees on it. All right, everyone. I will be back tomorrow morning. Buck is happy. He ate. I'm happy because I got to pet him again. So, Buck, you made mommy happy. Honestly, I'm happy even when he comes, but, like, when he comes and visits. As long as he eats like a good amount of food and I see that he's eating, drinking everything, I'm happy because then I'm like, okay, I know he's going to sleep good tonight. Right, Buck? I know he's coming back. Yeah, he's going to come back. He always does that. He walks, like once he's done eating, he'll hang out here. Sometimes he'll walk all the way there, all the way up to there. Then he'll turn around, walk back here. Then he'll walk all the way over here, hang out here for a few minutes. Then usually when I get ready to leave, that's when he starts like getting ready to walk away. Or sometimes he stays here after I leave. Like he'll stay here a little longer. Who knows? Right, Buck? I want to get a trail cam and put it over here by this tree. I told my husband because I really want to know if he comes by at night. Like late, late at night. Like, you know, when it gets dark out. I really like, I wonder, like, does he come by like to eat or drink or like even lay down over here at night? Like, I really want to know, and the only way we would know is if I had a trail cam. 
So I think I want to get one of those cameras, the ones that you put on the trees. I think I want to get one of those. I just got to try to find one that's a good price, you know, not too expensive. Because I don't want to get something too crazy expensive. Anyways, we will be back tomorrow morning with another video. So, ciao for now. And everyone, have a good night and a good evening. Well, a good evening and a good night. What are you eating?